So what is the problem that Bowman was created to solve? Globally, there are literally hundreds of thousands of engine and generators around the world providing power for distributed islands, remote communities, and various different industries, including mining and textiles. The efficiency of those gensets is typically less than 40%. So what that means is more than three-fifths of the energy that's in the fuel is being wasted as heat and CO2 emissions from those engines. The total cost of ownership of a genset over the lifetime of the project is typically 50 to 80% in the fuel. So it's totally dominated by the fuel cost. So the problem that Bowman is here to solve is to improve the efficiency and reduce that overall ownership cost where those fossil fuel powered gensets are still required to the greatest extent possible. And uh, tell me a bit about the company history. The company was founded in 2004. Initially, we were looking at the applications of electric turbo compounding on hybrid trucks and other off-road vehicles. But over the first few years of the company, we found a much more compelling value proposition in stationary power, both for renewable fuels and for fossil fuels. And who, who uses the ETC technology? Our customers typically fall into one of three categories. They're either engine and genset manufacturers, or OEMs, um, independent power providers or IPPs or rental power companies who rent gensets out. The benefit for our customers is a competitive advantage usually in that they are able to offer a more efficient genset with a higher efficiency to their customers who are the end users and the benefit for the end users of course is they need to pay for less fuel for the same amount of energy or for fewer gensets um, to produce the same amount of energy uh, and with the energy cost being the dominant cost in the total ownership, as I spoke about earlier, then that's a very compelling business case for the end users as well. Do you see the need for energy efficiency technologies such as Bowman's increasing? Oh, absolutely. Uh, the demand for energy globally is increasing much faster than the grid infrastructure is able to provide that energy, particularly in the type of rural and distributed power settings that we work in. For example, the International Energy Agency has predicted that the demand for global power will increase by 70% by the year 2040. So it's absolutely imperative that technologies like ours are able to be deployed. The new energy mix that we're seeing globally in terms of a big shift towards renewables, the peaking plants that are required when the sun's not shining or the wind's not blowing are also typically fossil fueled. And therefore, when you add those two things together, we see a huge increase in demand for technologies like ours. And our view at Bowman is that we have a very compelling moral, economic and environmental argument to maximise the efficiency with which those fossil fuels are burnt where they still need to be used.